Hi, I'm Darren. These are my hands. And at the back of Gru number one from Dark Horse Comics, Sergio Aragonez is hawking his wares, including Gru the Game. What's this? The box for the reprint of the Gru game being put out by Steve Jackson Games? No, it's an illusion, but I've been in contact with the fine folks at Steve Jackson Games, and they've been very kind to answer all my questions about this reissue of Gru the Game. Now, eagle-eyed listeners might have heard Sergio mention something about a new Gru game last summer on one of the Ask Sergio and Mark videos. Listen to this. So when people approach us, like there's a game, a Gru game, who are a new edition is coming out pretty soon. It appears that that casual mention was in reference to a reprinting of the original Gru game by Steve Jackson Games. Now, you probably don't have a copy of the Gru game. And if you do, you probably want to buy everything with Gru on it anyway. So this is a welcome event. But before we get too far along, what exactly is the Gru game? Well, Gru the Game is a card-playing, dice-rolling game where the players are trying to build their towns and armies so they can fend off attacks from each other and from Gru the Wanderer, who brings destruction wherever he goes. Players collect cards which represent potential buildings for their towns and troops for their armies. They roll dice to determine what resources they have during their turn. The resources allow the buildings to be built or troops to be hired. Buildings earn players victory points. Troops are used to attack other towns or defend from others, including Gru. The first person to reach seven victory points wins the game. Much like Gru himself, Gru the game isn't based around deep thinking, strategy, and forethought. It's meant to be a quick, funny, and somewhat wild ride with luck playing no small role. Steve Jackson himself says, This is a very fast game. This, yes. is, this is a good one to play before everybody shows up. Grew the game, and yes, I'm going to continue to wave my hands over these fake boxes of the Grew game, was published in 1997 by Archangel Studios, and an expansion to the game, more building and troop cards, came out soon after. And then it was out of print. And maybe you could buy it from Sergio at a convention, or you might find it in the back corner of a comic shop, but it was mostly off the shelves. But now... Steve Jackson Games has obtained the license to reprint Gru the game, as they announced at FnordCon 5 this spring, and they'll be doing so through a crowdfunding campaign later this year. I'll include a link to the video of Steve announcing the Gru game in the video's description, but you might already be asking a few questions about the game's release. As I've said, I've been in contact with the good folks at Steve Jackson Games, and they have answered my questions as much as they could, and what they haven't been able to speak to, we can infer from other sources. So here we go, your 10 questions about Gru the Game, the re-release, answered. 1. What happens if the Kickstarter doesn't get funded? Well, the good news is, Steve Jackson game Kickstarters almost always get funded. I think they only distribute them via Kickstarter, then sell any extras on their online stores. Nevertheless, don't expect the Gru game to show up at your local game store. Get in on the Kickstarter. Steve Jackson Games told me, Generally, we have to gauge the print run to the success of the project, so we won't know exactly how many copies of the game will be printed until the project gets closer to wrapping up. Two, what about sales in stores, or at least online? After the crowdfunding campaign, prices of Steve Jackson games often get like a 8% bump in price and end up going on their website. Steve Jackson Games has told me that doesn't preclude it from a retail release as well. We'll have more info about that as things get closer. Three, didn't I hear something about this being a joint project with another game? So here is an interesting bit of news. Gru the Card Game will be a joint project with another game called Wizwar. Both games will be part of a combined project. 
So a concern that I had was, am I going to have to back both games just so that I could get the Gru game? Steve Jackson game says that's not going to be the case. Steve Jackson game says, assume there will be separate options, but we don't know for sure. And as I've looked at many of their other projects, where different titles have been bundled together into one Kickstarter, they've almost always had an option to back individual projects. But, Wiz War and Gru aren't enough. So there's going to be a stretch goal where if you've selected the reward level to get Wiz War and Gru, and we unlock the stretch goal, then you also get a reprint of Greed Quest. Which has been out of print. Four. What about rule changes? Will we be able to play the original game rules with the new Gru game cards? Steve Jackson Games answered that question by saying, there were card tweaks for balance and some layout tweaks for readability and understanding. No specific list of changes to share though, mostly a number of small tweaks in wording and layout to clean up rough edges, as with any game that old. We will only be offering the new printing, so no legacy edition or anything like that. So it sounds to me like the original rules have not changed much at all. Perhaps cost to play certain cards or damage inflicted by others have been balanced. Steve himself said that after 30 years of the game being played, it wasn't hard to round off some of the sharp edges. 5. How about that expansion set? Will the reissue of the Gru game include cards that were in the 1997 expansion deck? The FnordCon video mentions 115 cards, including a couple reference cards. So we've got 60 from the original game, plus 55 from the expansion. That's 115 cards. It looks like the expansion is included in the reprint. Good news. Six. What about bonus stuff? A dice bag and tuck box for the cards are included as stretch goals. And fortunately, these stretch goals are often met. So, the cards in a tuck box, plus the dice and the rules, go in a dice bag, easy transport, keep your box on the shelf, looking excellent. But for stretch goals, we have a planned tuck box to hold all the cards, and a planned dice bag that you can then put the tuck box and the dice and the rules in, and just transport the game this way. Seven. Will there be an autographed Sergio edition of the game? Steve Jackson Games told me that's not currently planned. But I suppose you could take your game to a Comic-Con next year, meet up with Sergio, maybe he'd sign it for you. 8. How about the art? Anything new there? Well, the box art looks like a collage of a few different card images. The Gru card, the Move Gru to the Next Town card, and the title from the back of the deck. Otherwise, Steve Jackson Games has indicated that Sergio's same artwork will be used, though the layout of the cards will be updated a bit. 9. When can we expect the Kickstarter campaign to launch? Steve Jackson Games told me there's no official word right now, but someone I was talking to on the inside informs me that the plan is for late summer 2022, but it could be pushed to the autumn of 2022. Steve Jackson game Kickstarters usually only last a couple of weeks, so be on the watch for this. When it happens, it's going to happen fast, and then it's going to be over. 10. How much is this going to cost me? Well, originally, the Gru game sold for $25, and recent sales on eBay of the game with the expansion deck have gone for $145, $155, $175, $250. While Steve Jackson Games wasn't able to give me a price range for the Gru Game reissue, I expect it to be priced around $50 when I compare it to other similar offerings Steve Jackson Games has recently put out. Start saving your coppins. Well, Gru friends, I hope that you're as excited as I am about the reissue of Gru the Game. Pay attention to Gru's social media channels, Mark Evanier's website, Twitter, the Facebook groups, I'm sure when the Kickstarter happens, 
you'll be able to find out there. And as soon as I hear anything, I'll be sure to let you know right here on GrewTube. So make sure that you're subscribed and that you have notifications turned on because I don't want you to miss out the next time I'm back with another GrewTube. Take care, everybody. Look at that jacket. Looks so good. And that hat? I could wear one of those toques all year long up here in Canada with Roberto stitched on it. Oh man, that would be awesome.